the world's most prestigious individual badminton tournament, the Total BWF World Championships is back for its 23rd edition. The BWF major event returned after a year of hiatus due to the 2016 Olympic Games. And once again, badminton fans will witness elite-level shuttlers from across the globe battling for the honor of being crowned the world's best. This year, the sport's top players will descend on Scotland's larger city, Glasgow. Glasgow have been hosting badminton events for many years uh, at different levels, and, and uh, they have a, a very high level uh, organizational skills, so I'm sure the, the event will be perfectly set up and it'll be a joy for players, spectators to come and join the event and, and, and experience what a world championship really is. I mean, it's a, one of the highest showcase events we have to, to show uh, badminton at, at, its, at, at its best. Meddling at the World Championships and the Olympics is the highest honor a player can aspire for. And recent Rio medalists are eager to repeat their winning performance in Scotland. I think uh, the World Championships after the Olympic Games is always very, very interesting. There's been a little break of World Championships. The Olympic champions will have to go out and prove themselves and, and actually prove to the world that their Olympic medals can be repeated in a, in a World Championships context. And the ones that actually didn't medal, medal in in the Olympics, uh, you know, they will go out and try and prove that that was a big mistake and they should have had those medals. And, and now they're going for the World Championships. I'm sure everybody will be eager to, to prove themselves and uh, I'm sure it will be a very competitive uh, World Championship. The women's singles is arguably the most open field this year, with the top five shuttlers coming from five different nations. With current world number one, Chinese Taipei's Tai Tsuying appearing at the Summer Universiade in the same period as the championships, defending champion and Olympic gold medalist Carolina Marin of Spain has one less competitor to worry about. Among the strong contenders are Japan's pluckiest shuttlers, top seed Akane Yamaguchi, Australian Open winner Nozomi Okuhara, and Indonesia Open champion Sayaka Sato give the Japanese side a formidable look. Also eyeing the prize title is India's Pasala V. Sindhu. The Olympic silver medalist is aiming to peak in Glasgow and is eager to better the two bronzes she already has in her medal collection. Well, definitely, of course, gold is uh, definitely a high thing because uh, uh, I've been, I've got two times bronze, so this time better than the bronze, so I wanted to change the colour. So hope uh, it happens. China have held on to the women's doubles crown for a decade, and the Chinese are determined to continue that record. Leading the charge are Indonesia Open winners Cheng Ching Chen and Jia Yifan. Their intelligent and attacking-minded game can unnerve the toughest of opponents. The pressure is also on Olympic gold medalists Misaki Matsutomo and Ayaka Takahashi of Japan. With only one Super Series title to their name this year, the top seeds have much to prove. Korea's All England champions Chang Yena and Lee So Hee will be hoping to add another feather to their cap after helping their country to a historic victory at the Sudirman Cup. Denmark's Camilla Ritter-Juhl and Christina Pedersen are also not to be trifled with. The Danes will be hoping to go one better than their silver medal finish at the last World Championships. Men's doubles has the potential to turn out the most heart-stopping on-court battles. Fans can look forward to the exploits of China's young and explosive Li Chunhui and Liu Yuchun. Over the last two months, the Chinese pair has been jostling with Matthias Bo and Carsten Mogensen for the number one ranking in the world. Denmark's veteran pair may be the most senior, but they can still pack a punch. There is also Malaysia's Olympic silver medalists Go Vi Shem and Tan Wee Kiong, and 2017's most exciting men's doubles pair, Indonesia's Marcus Fernaldi Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sukumuljo. They've won three Super Series titles back-to-back, -back, including the prestigious All England, and they are hungry for more.
Pastinya kita belum puas sama We are not satisfied with our achievements yet. We have won the Super Series, but there are many tournaments we want to win. We can achieve more. Lebih baik lagi. China has three mixed doubles pairs in the world's top five contesting for the World Championships. Hopes are pinned on Tseng Suwei and Chen Jingchen, and Lu Kai and Huang Yachong. Both pairs have been in red-hot form this season, and a final could be a possibility. Indonesia's Olympic heroes Tontawi Ahmad and Liliana Nazir are also going to pull out all the stops in Glasgow. But they might have to fend off opposition from debutants Malaysia's Tan Kian Meng and Lai Pei Ching, and Sudirman Cup heroes Choi Sol Gyu and Che Yu Jung, who are in their half of the draw. The mixed doubles event will certainly witness some fiery contests. Lindan, Li Chong Wei, Chen Long. The names of these heavyweights of badminton will bring the crowds to their feet. Emirates Arena is certainly in for some colossal battles with Li and Chen potentially meeting in the quarterfinals and the winner could face five-time world champion Lin Dan in the final. But there are others who are also ready to shine on this illustrious stage. Korea's Son Won Ho enjoying the high of his world number one status and the Sudirman Cup victory is in the same quarter as India's Kadambi Srikanth. And it's always special to win uh, you know, medals at such big events and uh, India I would, uh, you know, I really love to get a medal there for sure but I'm not really, I don't really want to set any targets for myself and then, and then it eventually ends up, you know, to put so much pressure on me so it's about just thinking about match by match for me. Denmark's Victor Axelsson is the only seeded European in the top 10. Returning to action after a foot injury, the Danish ace will have to contend with the likes of Hong Kong's Ung Ka Long and India's Singapore Open winner Sai Pranith in his quarter. The draw has a lot to do with it as well, but of course I would like to, to get a medal. Um, uh, I already have a bronze uh, from a few years back, so hopefully I can, I can go better than that, but a medal is, is of course a target at the moment. The players are ready. The stage is set, and there will be fireworks at the Total BWF World Championships 2017.